is it. I have just gotten on my plane back to Doha, which will then go back to New York City and then back to Texas. And I'm feeling really sad right now because despite everything, I feel like I'm not done in Bali and I really don't want to go home. It's been such an amazing trip for me. Chella just dropped me off at the airport. I got to say goodbye to Oliver and James and all of my new friends that feel like family to me. And um, I'm really gonna miss it here. And all I can think about is that I should just get myself a place here in Bali. But I know that there are new adventures to come. So I'm just trying to keep my heart open, my mind clear, and I'm thinking about all the beautiful things that I learned on this trip. And I'm just gonna keep manifesting this. So all that being said, are you guys ready for another journey? Let's go. I survived another 30 hour plane ride. I've just arrived in New York City, staying with my beautiful friend Kim again, and I'm gonna be here for a few days to basically get through some business meetings, have some interviews, and I'm working on a few special projects for you guys that you're gonna hear about pretty soon. So a quick update would be that I really miss Bali. I have been spending like literally the past 30 hours thinking about how amazing my trip was what I've taken away from it, what I've absorbed, and how I can move forward in the present time using all of those tools and gifts and lessons that I just absorbed. For me personally right now, I definitely know I'll be going back to Bali soon. Not getting my own place there, but to relive more adventures. I definitely know that I have work to do here. There's some things that I need to clean up. There's some things in my life that I need to shift and continue on with. I definitely want to continue to inspire you guys to eat healthier, to eat more raw foods. I'm just so excited for some new beautiful things to come. You know, when I was on the plane, I was writing down, again, more lessons that I had learned on this trip. And I was also writing down the things in my life that I wanted to manifest, the goals that I want to achieve, the different dreams that I want to achieve, and um, how Bali inspired me to move forward in this manner. And it's funny because I went into Bali like in a totally different energy. Work crazy, busy, not fully prepared for the healing that was about to happen. And after that whole huge shift happened, so all of everything from the plane ride to the dog bite to the rabies to the getting sick to the this and the that, now I realize that balance is so important. Boundaries are important. Not letting people take advantage of you is important. And I wasn't quite done. I feel like I'm not quite done and I'm not quite there yet and therefore <laughs> it's funny because as I was getting off the plane um, I actually tripped and I fell like face ate it on the metal awning as I was walking off the plane and um, I felt pretty hard I jacked up my knee to the point to where it was bleeding and completely scabbed off here's a quick picture of that doesn't look pretty right now it's healing um, and as I was laying there in the middle of like the hallway <laughs> of the awning, or not even the hallway, but like the, the bridge um, between getting off the plane and that little walkway, nobody helped me up. Nobody even like asked if I was okay and it was kind of weird. And then I was like, why did that happen? I was like, you know what? I don't think I was fully mentally prepared to come back into my life here. And so I think it was telling me that I wasn't quite ready for that step to come back, which means I have a lot more work to do on myself. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be using my trip back home as a growth opportunity to become a better person as well. I really loved my last motorbike ride in Bali. I really loved all of the experiences that I had. Everything, the people, the culture, the nature, food, the environment, I'm grateful for all of it, especially my new friends that I met in Bali as well. All right, um, but as a quick update, just so you guys can see, I've already gone to Whole Foods and um, got some apples, there's some bananas on that back counter over there, and I have a whole bag of more raw food snacks and apples. Um, I got some kale chips last night. I got tomatoes and kale in the fridge. You guys know me. Traveling and eating, definitely my thing. 
I've also got um, the YouTube video that I will be releasing later on today, which you guys are going to be watching yesterday, and then you're going to be seeing this video tomorrow. I'm going to bring you guys with me to my meetings today. We're going to have some fun dinners with some friends here, and then I'll be headed back to Texas shortly after. It always means a lot to me when you guys leave positive comments and questions and whatnot. I love being here for you. Thank you for being a part of my life and a part of my journey. I feel like we're about to start a new adventure. Where should we go next? All right, you guys, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I know it was just a short, quick update of transition from Bali to New York, but I hope you like it and uh, get ready for a new New York video coming like tomorrow. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to follow me on my social media as well. Everything from Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter to Snapchat and Insta stories. I'm fully Ron and All right, you guys, I love you. I'm grateful for you. Sending you all my hugs.